in this video we'll talk about hypertrophy hypertrophy means increase in the size of cells which lead to an increase in the size of affected organ simply we can understand hypertrophy as an increase in organ size such as increase in the size of our muscles and you must have gone to gym and increased your bicep size this is an example of hypertrophy the hypertrophic organ has no new cells and it's really important to understand just that the existing cells are bigger and stronger that means if this is your muscle after hypertrophy there is no net increase in the muscle cells but there is an overall increase in the size of the existing muscle cells hypertrophy can be two types a physiological hypertrophy and a pathological hypertrophy the normal physiological hypertrophy is okay and it happens due to stress or increased work demand and the example is an increase in your size of your biceps when you do more physical work or when you do gym and an example of pathologic hypertrophy is left ventricular hypertrophy due to hypertension the wall of the left ventricle of our heart becomes thick and there is a hypertrophy in the cardiomyocytes this leads to several problems now let's talk about what are the factors that can cause hypertrophy so obviously let the physiological factors that can cause physiological hypertrophy is increasing functional demand that means simply you are you are like increasing your load in the gym or you are lifting up more heavy stuff also if you are stimulated by several hormones for example growth hormones steroid hormones then there could be hypertrophy as well anyway in sports there is a malpractice of injecting specific hormones to achieve hypertrophy then there could be induction by getting growth factor or by ingesting growth factor agonists so all these things can lead to increase in size of an particular organ in this case the muscle and possibly lead to hypertrophy now there are man many chemical and mechanical signals that can induce the hypertrophy chemical signal involves insulin like growth factor so in general many growth factors lead to this kind of hypertrophy response and insulin growth like growth factor is one of the key player in this process myostatin androgens osteocalcin all of these falls under chemical signals which can induce hypertrophy apart from the chemical signals there could be mechanical signals such as mechanical stretch straining the muscles which can be sensed by several integrin receptors and all of these things signals the muscle cells to produce more muscle proteins and get bigger in the size simply there are there is a increase in myofibril synthesis all these phenomena lead to an increase in muscular size or muscular and, and lead to muscular hypertrophy the massive physiological growth of the uterus during pregnancy is another example in that case the smooth muscles are getting hypertrophied by the hormone such as estrogen so the estrogen receptors are present in the uterine smooth muscles and upon pregnancy this uh, estrogenic hormone action can lead to hypertrophy in these muscles now let's talk about pathologic hypertrophy example of pathologic hypertrophy is the left ventricular hypertrophy in this case the heart muscle or the cardiomyocyte gets bigger in the size as it get bigger in the size there is less cavity in the left ventricle that means it can pump or it can hold less amount of blood which is bad for the body the mechanisms that can lead to uh, the cardiac hypertrophy involves growth factor like igf1 which is pretty common for muscles or any kind of muscles several agonist involves adre alpha adrenergic hormones angiotensins which are related to blood pressure as well also mechanosensors are present in the heart muscle which can sense increased hemodynamic load and that leads to a hypertrophy all these things lead to 
production of bunch of transcription factors such as MEF2, GATA4, NFAT and these things can evoke several biological responses such as synthesis of contractile proteins, induction of uh, specific embryonic genes such as alpha actin, ANF, etc. One such response is replacing the uh, alpha isoform of myosin heavy chain with the beta isoform. And this particular isoform has a slower, more energetically uh, economical contraction. So obviously, these kind of changes are underlying the cardiac hypertrophy. So in this video, we talked about what is hypertrophy? We learned that hypertrophy is increase in the size of cells, which lead to an increase in the overall organ size. There is no new cells, but existing cells are getting bigger. Hypertrophy can be pathologic or physiologic. We looked at the examples of pathologic and uh, physiologic hypertrophy. So if you want more notes and flashcards, you can visit my Facebook page. You can go to my Instagram page. There is daily interactive quiz and also these kind of notes. All the links are provided in the description. You can support my channel using Patreon, Bhim UPI app, or you can pay me by this super thanks option, which is present in the bottom right corner of any video. You can contribute using Paytm, PayPal, or any other UPI app. If you wish to connect with me, all my social media handles are provided in the description. You can find me by this particular name. Also support uh, the Nerd Medic channel. You can follow the Nerd Medic channel and all the links of Nerd Medic channel are also provided in the description. Feel free to connect. See you in the next video. Don't forget to comment.